I can't remember where I was. Are you ready for that? Of eventful things that have ever happened in your life, who the hell is going to remember where they were when the rankings came out? Well, I was a guy that was involved in MMA since the 90s. The year was 2012. First time we ever had an official ranking system. And I was working over at Fox at the time. There was a show called uh, UFC Tonight. Big show in the world of MMA. And I remember it being a big deal to the producers of that show when the rankings came out. It was just a talking point. It was something to argue about. There was controversy. Anytime there's people judging people, and that's nothing more than what a ranking system is. People judging people. Popularity contest always comes into it. But there's controversy. When there's controversy, what? In sport, there's easy talking points. So I just remember it being a big deal that the rankings came out, which is why I remember where I was. And I remember the year was 2012. You have to understand how insignificant the rankings are, though. And every fighter who does not like his ranking, which represents every fighter in the world that isn't number one, will come out and tell you that rankings don't matter when it fits their narrative. The second they get asked to do a hard fight, they will attempt to compare their spot with somebody within the rankings. And I'm seeing this happen right in front of our eyes with Chemayev. Now, Chemayev is not the only stud out there without a number next to his name. Rumble Johnson doesn't have a number next to his name. George St. Pierre has no number next to his name. Guys, fight whoever you want and duck whoever you want. Do not think that ever in a time in this sport that you could get out of a fight by stating a number next to it. Whether the dollar amount you're willing to do it for or the date that you're willing to do it on, or the amount of rounds that it needs to be, or what the guy is ranked. There was no number you will put in front or after anything. The answer was yes, or the answer was no. You stepped up or you chickened out. There's no wrong answer in this, but playground rules still apply. If there's a job that you were not willing to go do for any reason, no problem. And we will move the other way. Make no mistake, this guy just won. I will tell you the story. And as though I haven't already proven this, as though I haven't already proven it by George St. Pierre with absolutely no ranking, could walk into a title fight and nobody complains. As though Rumble Johnson, who has absolutely no ranking and none of us would imagine is lower than a three if they did put a number next to him. I mean, I feel I've proved my point. But I will still come back to the night that a young man named Pat Cummings debuted in the UFC. It was a co-main event. And it was against Daniel Cormier. He had absolutely no ranking. He didn't even have a contract the week before. Daniel Cormier won that fight in impressive fashion, and Daniel's next fight was for a world championship against John Jones. So anybody who attempts to argue the number in the ranking, sometimes you guys live so close to the trees, you miss the forest. I follow this sport for a living. I love this sport through a passion. I haven't got the goddamn idea what any one of you were ranked, and I don't care. And whoever writes the rankings, do you want to know why he doesn't have his name next to his article? Because he doesn't get paid to do it. Because no one cares. It's not a real thing. It's a talking point that came out for a television show that used to be on a network that doesn't even call it a sport anymore. Quit talking about your ranking. You're, you know what? Excuse me. You rank whatever I say you rank. From now on, you're the champion or you don't matter. Chael's ranking.